Two of the men charged with first-degree murder of a gay man near Lake Lowell last April appeared in court today. One in Canyon County for day two of his murder trial and the other in federal court, now facing hate crime charges for targeting the man based on his sexual orientation. That's where we go live to Six on Your Side's Karen Lair with the very latest. That's right, Donna Michelle. Kelly Schneider made his first federal court appearance today after pleading guilty to first degree murder and admitting to his involvement in the crime that left 49 year old Stephen Nelson dead. 23 year old Kelly Schneider, seen here at his arraignment last spring, is now facing federal hate crime charges in the murder of 49 year old Stephen Nelson. This is a case where we thought that there was both a public interest and it was necessary to secure substantial justice to bring the federal charges. Uh, there was an unvindicated interest because of the violent uh, nature of the incident and the fact that it was directed at an individual based on his sexual orientation. In court on Monday, Schneider admitted to brutally beating the victim after he answered an online ad Schneider posted for gay sex. U.S. Attorney Wendy Olson says the fact that an indictment was returned means the grand jury found there was enough probable cause that Schneider may have targeted the victim for being gay. If someone is attacked because of who he loves or how he loves, we're going to look into that and bring charges where the evidence supports it. Schneider at his first federal court appearance issued a not guilty plea, but if found convicted, could face up to life in prison. Schneider's federal trial is set to begin on March 27th in Boise. Meanwhile, in Canyon County Court today, it was day two for the murder trial of co-defendant Jason Woods, who is pleading not guilty in this case. Today, the jury heard testimony from another co-defendant in the case, Kevin Tracy, along with two individuals who found the victim and called 911. They also heard from the deputy who first arrived on scene and at that point watched the roughly 20 minute body camera footage from the early morning hours of April 29th and heard the details of that attack from the victim himself hours before he died. Reporting live in Boise, I'm Karen Lair, six on your side.